up, gentlemen? So the cold hard relationship reality is that if a woman doesn't respect you, she will put you in the friend zone faster than you will drop me one of those. The other reality is that if she does respect you, she's automatically more attracted to you. So as you can see, it is critical that you are respected by women. But the problem is that we're men, and sometimes we're not that smart, and so we'll do things thinking that she'll respect us more, and ultimately, it makes us look like a dick. And so today, gentlemen, I'm going over seven ways to get a girl to respect you without being a dick. So the first way to get a girl to respect you is act like a man. There, I said it. Act Act like a man. Gentlemen, you gotta act like a man. I know that in our society, men and masculinity, a little bit under attack. Now, I'm not saying like poor us or anything like that. I am saying you gotta act like a man if you ever expect her to respect you. Because a lot of men these days try to mold themselves into what they think a woman wants to be, which ends up being a softer, less attractive version of ourselves. Gentlemen, remember, you are a man. You are also the man, and you're gonna to be her man if you actually start acting like one. The second way to get a girl to respect you is stand up for yourself. And there is zero chance that she's gonna respect you if you are constantly kissing her super luscious amazing booty. It is luscious. You gotta learn to say no. You can't always be available. Do not run every time she's like, yo Brian, can you come over, pick me up, take me out for a taco? Be like, yo mama, I could, but I'm not going to because I got things to do. You gotta learn to be nice without being a pushover, gentlemen, because nobody respects somebody who is a people-pleasing pushover. Take it from somebody who happens to be a reformed people-pleasing pushover. Looking back, I was such a puss. Like, seriously. I was so bad at dealing with women because I was so afraid I was gonna upset him I wanted to make sure that everything was fine. I know she's fine I know she's super sassy and you're all like oh my god This is one spicy ass senorita But the fact is this there are others and if you let this woman that you're potentially Interested in walk all over you or treat you like trash gentlemen without standing up for yourself She will never respect you and once you lose a woman's respect You're never getting it back the third way to get a girl to respect you is be up front and honest with her. Do not dance around. Do not beat around the bush. Do not play games. Stop playing all these ridiculous games. Be up front. Tell her what's up, gentlemen. Let her know, yo mama, I'm into you. I think you're super fine and sassy and I definitely want a piece of that action. So technically that line was never and will never work on anybody, but you get the idea. You just gotta be up front. Don't play games. Don't be like, I'm not gonna talk to you for five days. Gentlemen, go out and carpe senorita. If you want her sexy ass, you gotta go out and grab it. Figuratively speaking, of course. <laughs> What's up, girl? Yeah, exactly. That's a quick way to get your ass slapped or kicked in the nuts. Literal grabbing will happen later, but it will only happen if she respects you. And the fourth way you're going to do that, gentlemen, is build mental toughness. It's impossible to respect somebody who is mentally weak. Gentlemen, the fact is this. Nothing will hit you harder than life itself. That's a quote from Rocky, baby, and it's one that I absolutely love because the truth truth is, life is going to come at you, it's going to throw you a bunch of punches, right? You're going to get hit, you're going to get kicked, you're going to get knocked down, but it's the people that pick themselves back up, get back in the game, and ready to fight again, gentlemen. Those are the ones that ultimately win. So when I think about this concept of mental toughness, the one person that comes to mind is David Goggins, um, former Navy SEAL. His story is so incredibly inspirational. I first heard about him on the Joe Rogan podcast. David is a freaking animal, sometimes borders on a little crazy in my opinion, but it's all about conquering your mind and doing what you don't think is possible. Guys, recently I got finished listening to his book. His book is called Can't Hurt Me, Master Your Mind and Defy the Odds. I want you to look down there at the ratings, 72,962, one of which is mine. If you're ready to be inspired and start the process of building mental toughness so that you're prepared when life comes swinging, gentlemen, you have got to go hit our link down below and sign up at Audible, today's video sponsor. There's a link down below, gentlemen, audible.com slash alpha M. You can text the word alpha M to 500, 500 to get 53% off your first three months of Audible. For me, Audible has been a huge game changer. I don't like to sit down and read a book, but I love listening. Guys, Audible has an insane selection of bestsellers, 
thrillers, motivational books, plus a ton more. And with the Audible app, Pixel, you can listen anytime, anywhere. Me, when I'm out for a run, when I'm at the gym, when I'm doing cardio, I am listening to Audible. And the really cool thing about Audible, when you download a book, guys, your library is yours to keep, even if you cancel. It is the season for giving amazing gifts. It's time for you to give yourself an incredible gift, the gift of Audible, because it's going to help you expand your mind and build mental toughness. Gentlemen, there's a link down below, audible.com slash alpha m or you can text the word Alpha M to 500-500 to get your first three months for $6.95 per month. You're also going to get to download one audio book and two Audible Originals. Gentlemen, Audible.com is, in my opinion, a game changer that you need to grab. The fifth way to get a girl to respect you is be self-sufficient. What I mean by this is do not rely on her financially or emotionally. You have a job. Do you make enough money to support yourself? Are you in massive amounts of credit card debt? Are you financially responsible? Can you occasionally take her out for a burrito? She feels like she's got to take care of you or you're too needy or relying on her for too many things, guys. She's not going to respect you. This also goes for emotionally. She doesn't respect you if you're needy, if you're constantly needing praise and reassurance that she likes you. Gentlemen, do not be a needy little puss. The sixth way to get a girl to respect you is to respect her, both when she's around but also when she's not around. Like, it's one thing to show her that you respect her. Listen to her, you know, let her tell you her opinion on things and don't be like, oh, you're stupid. You're so dumb. Good thing you're pretty. Respect her, gentlemen. This is what she wants. She wants her opinion validated. But here's the thing. You also need to respect her when she's not around. One of the things that I see a lot of dudes do is that when they're around their girl, they're all like, oh, I love you, honey. But as soon as she's not around, they're flirting, they're hitting on, they're talking to whoever is around. Acting like they're single when their girl's not around. Gentlemen, this is one of the things that automatically will make you look like a huge dick. It also will make her not respect you once she hears that you've been flirting with Brenda because it always gets back to her about Brenda which brings us to the seventh way to get a girl to respect you you've got to respect yourself gentlemen I see some of you dudes out there that are talking to girls or in relationships and I know for a fact that you don't respect yourself because if you did you wouldn't let her treat you that way you wouldn't act the way that you do you've got to respect yourself which is one of the hardest things to do gentlemen I used to not respect myself and so what did I do exactly I did a bunch of self destructive things. I let women talk down to me. I had and was in really bad relationships that were toxic, but I couldn't get out of them because I was codependent. Gentlemen, you've got to take that back. You've got to take control. You need self-respect because until you get that, gentlemen, nobody is going to respect you. Gentlemen, I think you're incredible. I think you're amazing. You've got to believe it because you are.